Welcome back, YouTubers. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos so that everyone could be blessed. You know, God, he spread all of the Israelites into every tribe in the world. And there's a lot of good people that are Israelites that have been put in places until the time. And at this moment, I'm calling all you Israelites to come back home. It's time to come back home. And we're going to show you about the woman that corrupted the whole world. Corrupted many of us. And let's get right into it. In Revelation 17, starting in verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. A woman is a church. It's a religious system. That's what a woman is. These colors that you see here are the colors that are carried by the Roman Catholic Church. And we continue. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And, as I, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore did thy marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life. From the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. The beast, in, in, in the very next sentence or, or verse, and there is a mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth the only city in the world that sits in the middle of seven mountains is Rome. The beast that was, was the Roman army, was Rome back in the day. And then it was not, because there was no Roman rule. But then, the one that ascends out of the bottomless pit, the beast, that we have world rule today. It's a Roman Catholic religion. And Jesus is, and God is warning us about that religion. But it's worse than that. Because she's the mother of harlots, many harlots. That means that there's many religions that came out of her. They started there, but they left. And they cover the world today. And I'm sorry that I need to, you know, maybe offend somebody, but, but truth is truth. Protestants, Baptists, um, Pentecostals, Luther, Luther, Lutherians, and so on, and so on, and so on. Even Muslims. They are from the harlots. The mother harlot is the beast. But the little harlots, all oh, this covers the world. They're false religions. Now, if they were of God, then they would be worshiping 
on the Sabbath day and keeping the Sabbath day if they were godly. But they do not. And they follow the beast, which is the Roman religion. Rome has always followed and worshiped the sun, the sun god, on Sunday. <clears throat> and our Lord God, the Father, gave unto the Son to give unto John of Patmos to reveal unto us in chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may be not partakers of her sins, for that ye receive not of her plagues. God is going to punish all these um, false religions, all the people that are in them. God calls you to come out. He warns you. He's given you warning. And he's asked you to come home. God is not a religion. And he is not, will not ever be a Sunday worshiping God. He had created a holy day for us to keep. He is not going to deny his holiness and bow down to us. No, that isn't going to happen. We need to bow down to God. We need to accept what God has created for us from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Those that make it to heaven, okay, in verse in chapter 20 in verse 4 it says and I sought the thrones and they that sat up upon them and judgment was given them was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God which had not worshiped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Now it says here that you did not worship the beast, meaning you were not deceived in these churches. That you came out of them and you committed yourself unto God the Father and the Son. And that by doing so, you were not defiled by those women, either the beasts, neither the harlots. They're all false religious systems. The mark on your head is the way you think, and the mark on your hand is the way you do things. And God said that he didn't find the beast's mark on those people that went to heaven. So I call upon you, O Israel, to come out of those places that God has put you. It's time to come home and follow God's commandments and follow His ways. Commit yourself to God because God is not going to submit unto us. Shalom.